Hey guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about private browsing on iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you turn off the private browsing on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. You're going to be amazed at how easy this is. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to turn off your private browsing on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're like me, you turn on private browsing and that way it doesn't store any kind of history for the websites that you went to on your Safari on your iPhone. And it also doesn't log any of your passwords that you put in while it's in private browsing mode. But then if you're like me, you kind of look at it and think, how the heck do you turn this off? Because when you open up a new tab, it actually opens up a private browsing mode Safari tab again. And let me show you what I mean. Let me click right here. Okay, so I'm going to open up a new tab right here by clicking here. And as you can see, it now just opens up another private browsing tab. So in order to turn this off, what you want to do is go ahead and click right here on this little button. It looks like two sheets of paper. Now, make sure you don't hard press it. You just click it once. So I'm going to click there like that. And as you can see, now they are showing all the browser pages that I have open. And if you want to turn off your private browsing on your iPhone, all you do is look for this word right here, private. As you can see, it's white. But if you click it once, it turns off the private browsing on your iPhone. Let me click right here. Okay, now as you can see, it's just a regular browser now. Just be aware that the private browsing on your iPhone has now been turned off. So that's the easiest way I know how to turn off private browsing on your iPhone. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.